We start tonight with a story you'll see first on five. We are hearing from a Woodbury dentist accused of leaving patients stranded after taking their money. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Leah McLean. I'm Paul Folger. Those patients have been demanding answers ever since Woodbury Dental Arts just suddenly closed up shop last week with no warning. Brittany Ehrman tracked down that dentist today. She's here now with what the dentist is saying. Well, Dr. Kamal told me he abruptly closed his practice because his license was suspended and he ran out of money. He tells me he was not practicing while his license was suspended. He says he could not pay his employees and keep the doors open, so he walked away. I ran out of money to run the practice without being able to practice myself anymore. This man, Dr. Marco Kamal, is the dentist former patients have been looking for to get answers. It's that fear to just leave us hanging like this. Nearly a year ago, April Luera started a dental replacement process at Woodbury Dental Arts. Currently, her teeth are temporary implants. My appearance and my smile is everything to me. That smile now broken. She was due for another appointment, but she was met with this unexpected message saying Woodbury Dental Arch is temporarily closed. Please contact your dentist with more information. The partials are not strong at all. It broke and it's literally broke right now. Patients have to pay up front out of pocket. Luera dished out $37,000 and her procedure is not finished. I have nowhere to go. No one to call or who's going to even help me in this situation. I can't even eat. Uh, my name is Brittany Irwin with Channel 5. We're just coming by to ask a few questions about your recent closure. Public records led us to Dr. Kamal's home. State records show his license was temporarily suspended twice for incompetence. First in May of last year and again in November for the same thing. Did you get in touch with patients and tell them that you were going to close? Well, I didn't get a chance because when I couldn't pay the payroll, I had to close the office. Dr. Kamal, a lot of patients feel in the dark and feel that they didn't see this coming. What would you tell them? I'm, I'm so sorry. It came to the point that I'm broke. I cannot, I don't have enough money to survive my family. I don't have enough money to pay my employees. His patients say they want accountability. How dare you? Like how you to leave your patients like this, untreated, unfinished. Like it's not right, it's not fair to us. And Dr. Kamal's real estate broker called me after I spoke to the dentist. He says they're in the process of selling the practice and employees and patients will be first on the list to be reimbursed. He also told me the goal is a couple weeks to make that happen, but he's not making any promises. And Dr. Kamal also added that his attorney is drafting up a letter so those employees and patients know what's next. Mm. So the doctor has been dealing with legal issues for a while, but the patients just found out suddenly. Yep. On Monday, they walked up to the doors and saw it was closed. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. okay. Devastating for a lot of people. Lots more head indeed, for Brittany sure. Brittany Ehrman, thank you for that report.